Okay, this is Alan, and I'm talking with the writer, producers, and stars of The Last Treasure Hunt, Casey Nelson and Kate Murdoch. Hi there. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Good. Uh, now, you guys just had your screening at Dances with Films. How did that screening go, and what are your impressions so far of Dances with Films? It's been incredible so far. We, um, I wasn't expecting, honestly, I wasn't expecting so many people to turn out. We had basically a sold-out crowd, and oh, that's awesome. everyone was laughing and crying and clapping, and... Uh, they really seem to enjoy it. It was an incredible experience for me. Yeah, and Dances has been uh, really awesome and supportive, and, and it's been cool. This is our first festival, so it's been fun to go to other screenings. I got a T-shirt, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, this must have been a, a labor of love for you guys. Um, how? What were? Well, let's start off with the movie itself. Uh, uh, talk about it. Uh, what What is the movie about, and what are your roles in that movie? Sure. Um, it's about a brother and sister that grew up on this island together with their dad. When they were kids, they would go on all these elaborate treasure hunts around the island. Their dad would send them on. And uh, now they've grown up there in their 20s, and they kind of had a falling out. The brother and sister don't really talk anymore. And the dad unexpe- unexpectedly passes away. And in his will, he leaves them one last treasure hunt to go on to bring them back together. And how did you come up with the idea for the movie? You, you both wrote it together, right? Uh, well, I, I grew up on going to the island every summer. It's called Fisher's Island where we shot. And uh, my aunt would always send us on treasure hunts around the island. And she only did it like a couple times. It wasn't like a consistent thing, but that's always kind of stuck in my head. And uh, my dad actually reminded me that he did those as well. Um, but I, I kind of only remembered <laughs> my aunt that so she wasn't too happy about. But um, so that's kind of like the whole seed of the idea. And Casey and I were looking for something that we could make very low budget, that we could make ourselves, because as actors, we were looking to kind of create our own roles and and get ourselves out there as leads. So that was kind of how it all started. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I like uh, you speak of treasure hunts. My brother and I, we used to go in the backyard, hide things, and draw maps. You know, what is your personal connection with with those treasure hunts that you went on? Um, you know, I don't even remember what she did on them. I remember, like, running down to, we had, like, this really creepy basement, and I would go down to the basement, and all my older male cousins, I have older brother, too, they would always be, like, way ahead of me, so I'd be, like, I don't even think I found any of the treasure hunts, <laughs> which is very similar to kind of how Lucy feels. Oliver's always the one who um, who's ahead of the game, who's smarter, and, and solves the clues first before she can get there, and that was very much my, my reality <laughs> when I was trying to get the leg up on these treasure hunts when I was growing up. I thought the movie was beautiful. You said, where was the movie filmed? On Fisher's Island, New York. It's mm. this uh, very small, seven-mile-long island off the coast of New London, um, kind of in the Long Island Sound. What was the journey like uh, making the movies? Did you uh, just basically write a script together and then try to get it made? We started writing it. Um, I think we came up with the idea over Christmas break of 2012. And then in January of 2013, we started working on the script together. And um, and then we spent probably about three or four months or so writing. And, um, and then our goal was to shoot in October of 2013, but that... Uh, we weren't able to get that director attached and raise uh, as much money as we'd like. So we decided to um, push it until April of 2014. And that gave us about six more months to do all those things that we needed to get done and to prepare more and rehearse more. And then last April, we went out there and we shot for about 15 straight days on Fisher's Island. Mm-hmm. And, um, and then we spent the last year, well, I, I would say we spent about nine months after that doing post-production in the last three months. Um, you know, tying up loose ends, submitting the festivals, and figuring out, uh, you know, all the post-post production. <laughs> yeah. I just want to say that. All the marketing and the uh, the fun stuff involved in after getting the film made. Yeah, yeah. All, the, all the easy fun stuff. <laughs> now, what are your backgrounds like? Are you guys uh, screenwriters? Are you actors? Yeah, we're, uh, we're both actors. We actually met in acting class. Um, and writing was kind of a secondary thing to come along. We weren't getting roles that we really liked and or auditions that was, weren't going well or, you know, um, and we wanted to kind of take our career in our own hands. So we started writing. This is actually our second script that we've written together. Um, the first one got optioned by a production company in Georgia. We're going to make that later this year. So awesome. I guess we kind of consider ourselves actors first, but, but we're quickly coming around in the screenwriting thing. We, 
we kind of like it. <laughs> yeah, that seems to be the road for a lot of people nowadays. Is uh, if you want to be in a movie, you got to make the movie yourself. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's you have so many resources nowadays. It's like insane not to at least try. Yeah, um, it's it's a lot easier than it used to be. So if if you're unhappy and you're an actor, you need to kind of get your butt in gear and do it yourself. I was at uh, University of Georgia and majored in theater when I first moved out here to pursue acting. We didn't have all that. We didn't have, um, you know, great cameras and, and all the, you know, um, editing software that was so, you know, readily available or easily available on, um, on Macs. And, and nowadays, it's just like anyone can make a film, and, and that's kind of a new thing in the last five to seven years. And I feel like Kate's very fortunate because when she got to college, that was, that was uh, around, but I met her. You know, she, was, she went to Cornell, and I met her, like, pretty soon after she graduated, so it was just perfect timing, because I had been shopping at the bed to make something, and she was just young and hungry and, and uh, didn't know any other way. Like, in her mind, she was like, yeah, this is what you do, and my, my mind was like, no, this is a new thing. So. Okay, and, and you two play siblings in the movie. Um, was the collaborative process similar to being brothers and sisters? We always joke that we, we kind of have a very easy brother and sister dynamic. We fight all the time in our writing, and we bicker constantly, but it's very much how I bicker with my brothers, where there's a lot of love, but, you know, <laughs> you're not going to let the other get away with anything. We keep, I always say we keep each other honest, and, um, and Kate and I actually have, this is something I actually want to say, is we have kind of a rule in our writing, and pretty much in anything we're doing uh, collaboratively, that if we both don't agree with it, it doesn't happen. Um, so if she thinks something's funny and I don't, then it doesn't go in there and vice versa. But if we if we both have to ultimately agree on it in order for it to keep going and, and to make that happen. And and, uh, and that's what we've heard by so far, and I think it's a good rule for both of us. So. Well, let's, let's talk about the movie uh, itself. Uh, there, the I guess the overarching theme of the movie is uh, is estrangement. You know the ways in which we, as uh, brothers and sisters, as uh, as children and parents, we we separate ourselves from from those who we should be closest to. Uh, how did you approach this subject? I think writing was a little bit of a different beast because I mean I tried to personally not picture myself in the role and and just picture two siblings and and to me there's nothing more sad than people who love each other so much and just for whatever reason can't get it together and get along um that's just so tragic to me so um a lot of like our writing was kind of like silences and things that aren't being said that you just are getting in the way um and that's kind of how I looked at their whole relationship is just like whatever wasn't being said mm-hmm. is what's kind of standing in the way. I mean, ultimately, that's <laughs> that's what it, that that is that wall that we build between us and others. I was also intrigued by some of the supporting characters, uh, specifically. You know, this was a drama about two people, but you brought in um, cousin Alfred. Um, <laughs> Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, Jeff, Jeff uh, his name's Jeff Grace, and Kate actually had uh, seen him in a movie called It's a Disaster, and she brought him to my attention. And um, we just thought he was so funny and, and uh, so natural, and, and we thought he was perfect with that kind of sassy sarcasm and that quirky kind of nerdy, nerdy, uh, lovable guy that he is, and, and um, I, he was just perfect. He, and I don't even think he realized how perfect he was. Like, he came to the yeah. screen the first time he'd ever seen the movie the other day, and I think he was genuinely shocked at how, how well it turned out because he didn't quite know how it was going to turn out. <laughs> I mean, had you written his role that specifically within the story? Well, I think we needed something to kind of give us a break from Oliver and Lucy always bickering together, so... Um, I think he started out as something that united them because they both kind of pick on him a lot. And um, that was kind of the first time you see them really join together and be like, Alfred's ridiculous. <laughs> you know, it was kind of something that they can bond over. Um, and that was more realistic yeah. to us. I mean, just to, just to have that one thing that like, oh, we did this as kids. We gave him a hard time. This is something we can we can relate to and do again. I mean, he definitely so, brings a lot. The much needed light moments for the for the movie. If, if anyone who was a uh, you know had a screenwriter's bible would say that exactly 
exactly what he is. And he's, you know, some might say he's the comic relief, and some might say that he's the, you know, the, the antagonist or the nemesis or whatever. But um, we just thought he was funny, and, and we and we thought it was like, like Kate said, it was a good way to separate these two main characters and not have that be stale because you don't want to just watch two people for for an hour and a half unless you're watching like a Gus Van Sant movie or something like that in the desert or whatever. Well, speaking of which, uh, one one idea that that was brought up, uh, I think on two or maybe three occasions, was the talking about the idea of melodrama. Uh, at one point, the characters are accused of being too melodramatic. Yeah, that's uh, that comes up twice. I just I actually thought it was interesting because I, I forgot that Susan brings it up later until I watched it at the screening. <laughs> I had completely forgot that we did that, and then I was like, oh yeah. Um, and to me, it's just because the, you know it they are very similar, you know? Um, Lucy and Oliver, they were raised by the same guy and who is this eccentric, intense guy. So they, they do have things that are similar and, and one of those things is being really melodramatic and it comes out in different ways. But uh, but him calling Lucy out and then having Susan kind of call him out later on, it's just like, oh, they're, they're, they have some things in common. Yeah. Yeah, it was a really good callback. <laughs> It's, uh, it's, the pot, it's the pot calling the kettle black. Yeah. How can audiences learn more about The Last Treasure Hunt? We have a website called lasttreasurehuntmovie.com, and uh, we also have a Facebook page. If you just What, what is the Facebook page, Katie? I think it's facebook.com slash lasttreasurehuntmovie. Yeah, I think it's still just The Last Treasure Hunt on Facebook. Yeah. And um, we've, uh, we've submitted to a number of festivals, and hopefully it'll be screening uh, at uh, some of those. As the, um, as the year goes on, we've submitted to New York Film Festival in Toronto and Hamptons and um, New Orleans and a bunch more. So. Okay. So if uh, people are interested in the movie, they can go definitely to the Facebook page and, and that will be updated yeah. updated often. Yeah, and, and last, last treasurehuntmovie.com is our website, and we just, uh, we're just we pretty proud of that. It just um, launched about two weeks ago, so uh, and all the information is on there as well, contact information, trailers, teasers, posters, everything, so... Okay, great. So uh, we've been talking with the writers, producers, and stars of The Last Treasure Hunt here at uh, Dances with the Films, Casey Nelson and Kate Murdoch. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.